What's up guys? This is David coming at you from Organic Price Books and we are taking a look at a new release from Marvel. It's not an omnibus, you know, usually uh, whenever it's something that's not omnibus, I just think it looks so cool and I think it needs to be shown and this is no exception. Today we are looking at Hulk by Jeff Loeb and Tim Sale. Now, of course, if you know this legendary duo, uh, then you know, of course, of Batman and what else? I mean, I think they did... Uh, Spider-Man, they've done uh, Spider-Man Red, yeah, Spider-Man Red, um, they've done Daredevil, uh, they've done a lot of like really cool stories, and, and usually these, these, this team uh, does really good stories, like, like one-off stories, and this one is no exception, it looks amazing, so this is in a bigger size than an omnibus, so let me just show you that so you can see it, this is an omnibus right here, as you can see, you got uh, maybe like two inches up on the top, two inches over here, maybe like an inch and a half on the length. And uh, yeah, you know, it, it, it's thin, of course, but that's that's okay. The bigger format is worth it to take a look at it. Look at this front. Ooh, that just looks so cool. And then here, of course, is the spine and the back. Oh, man. And this just, just wow, it looks amazing. Um, Daredevil, yellow, Spider-Man, blue. That's right. So I would call this like the Hulk Gray, possibly. Uh, yeah, it is called the Hulk Gray. So uh, I just love the fact that they use the theme of the colors for the heroes. And, uh, you know, if you saw Superman for all seasons, this like watercolored uh, aspect of it just looks so beautiful. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump into Hulk Gray by Jeff Loeb and Tim Sale. And, uh, you know, take a look at the beauty of this book. All right, guys, let's check out Hulk Gray by Jeff Loeb and Tim Sale. And, man, this format is great. Oh, look at that. The watercolors on this looks great. Uh, Semi-gloss on the pages. Here's the contributors to it as well as here. Just, a oh, man, overall, this feels amazing. I love the, the books that they give when they do these bigger formats. Uh, for these books because you get to really, really appreciate the um, artwork that was put into it, the art style, the coloring on it. Look at that. I love the fact that it's black and white and then you have like a little bit of green that's starting to come in and then poof, more green. Look at the color. Look at the vibrancy of the green on here. It just looks so great. The artist, the color on this was really, really good. And, man, oof, look at that. Hulk is big, but he's not, like, enormous. There's some, you know, do you prefer Hulk to be, like, just, like, a really big guy or, like, monstrous? Sometimes I prefer monstrous Hulk to really just emphasize the danger or the strength. But sometimes, like, kids guys just, like, maybe, like, eight feet tall. I don't know. You know? World War Hulk, make him huge. You know, make him an intimidating force. Some of the other stories, since it kind of changes depending on the, uh, you know, threat or anger level, then I, I'm okay with him not being that big. Ooh, Iron Man. Very cool. I really like the fact that they chose, like, a, like the early 1950s style... Uh, era for, you know, this Hulk with the Iron Man and all that stuff, very early. Looks really good. Oh, I, I love that it has this right here as well. So, a page number down here on the side. I think it's really just six chapters. So, it, it just contains the story. And, you know, let me see if there's any extras. I don't want to spoil it too much. I don't want to give away too much. Okay, and then now he's fully green. He went from gray to green, like full, full green. Ooh, very cool. Nice, and it just talks about the different color books on here and, you know, the influence that they had for this story. I like how each of them is, is basically giving their 
their reasoning for what they've picked, you know, why they did choice to do this and that on the book. Uh, and so you definitely get to kind of just peek into their thought process on why they decided to do this. You know, they picked this style or all that stuff. Very cool. I really, really like that extra stuff like that that you can see. And then the, the artwork by by sale is just it's just so funny. This one's so cool. Oh man, there you go, guys. So Hulk Gray, uh, another one of the Tim Sale and, and Jeff Loeb stories of the colored series. Let me know if you you're gonna get this. If you're a fan of the Hulk, what you think about it? If you read it, check it out at Price Books, guys. And I will see you in the next one.